This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm going to show you how to do a factory restore on an HP uh, laptop. Okay? And mine's a G6, but this also applies to other HP computers. So, from shutdown mode, while it's off, you want to turn it on, and at boot up screen, right away hit F11. until you get the loading bar. It'll it'll tell you what F key to press to get into the service mode at the boot up screen. And you'll see um, during the boot up screen, you'll say like F11, F12, or F10. And just hit that key to enter the service service mode. Um, I believe on Sony BIOS, it's like F10 or F12 or something. I might be wrong. But it'll let you know, it'll flash up on the screen during the boot up screen, what F key to press for the um, service mode. All right, but it's on mine. It's F11. I don't know if you can see that. F11. And you don't have to hold down the function key or anything. You just keep on tapping this button. All right. So now it's gonna enter the service mode. The hard drive um, is partitioned. So on HP computers and I think like some other computers like Sony BIOS and stuff like that, they partition the hard drive instead of giving you the 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 installed disk or the setup disk or the factory restore disk and some computers give you when you first buy the laptop it um, HP does is uh, they do a, like image whatever like they install the operating system and all the um, HP G6 drivers for it in the backup like a partitioned second partition of the hard drive alright so if that makes any sense to you but anyway um right here this is the system restore but this is a Microsoft system restore. So if you had a bad Microsoft update or just a bad update period on something other, like a, whatever you are updating, it could be your antivirus program, you could do a factory restore. So I say on Tuesday you got the update and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday your computer screwed up. But you knew like Monday it worked good. You could restore it to Monday so it didn't receive that update. And... Uh, so that's how that would correct it. If that still doesn't correct your problem, you want to make sure you run your uh, malware bytes, antivirus program, or whatever uh, antivirus program. Make sure that you don't have a virus. All right. And this is a system recovery. A system recovery is basically when you first bought the computer straight out of the box, you had the fresh uh, operating system with the drivers already in it, and everything was clean. So if you want to do that, you could do that. So it says restore your computer to its original factory condition. But it, I, it'll delete everything. But it'll give you an option to um, back everything up to a USB hard drive or a DVD disk or whatever. Or um, a USB thumb drive if you have one. <clears throat> Alright, and then this is also an image recovery. Restores operating system, and drivers, and select software only. So um, those are the three options you got right there. You can also see if you have a hardware error, so it'll do a checkup on your, um, you know, your hard drive and your memory, and see if everything hardware-wise is working properly. Is HP support customer support right here, and here this is how you do a file backup. But it also, when you do a system recovery, it would uh, give you that option. So you click on that. All right, and it says recover without backing up your files. Well, if you want to back up your files, you could back up your files in a couple of different ways. Put your pictures and your videos on Facebook or MySpace or you know YouTube, or it, or you could also put it on a USB external hard drive. You could do that as well. Um, but you know, I'll give you that option. So if you want that back up your stuff, just click on that and then hit next. All right, but if you don't want to, you could just click on that. All right, so you have to choose which one you want to do. So remember, if you do the factory, you would pretty much delete. If you have the virus in your computer, and if you know it's a virus and nothing's getting the virus out or Trojan out, and um, you could actually, you'll delete it, but at the same time, you'll lose your documents and pictures and your videos. So make sure you back those up. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel, but I was going to show you just how to like get it to that point. I don't want to like delete my stuff because then I'll be screwed. But I uh, hope this helps you out and uh, post a comment, subscribe to Tampa Tech. I got other videos like this. Just check out my channel.
Thanks again.